Asexuals are obsessed with purple. Hello lovely humans, welcome to this space on the internet. This is just a quick video to go over some of the symbols for asexuality. If you're unfamiliar with asexuality, I have plenty of videos on the topic and surrounding related topics. And in this particular a space on the internet, we do talk a lot about asexuality and asexual community, which is the main reason why we have these various symbols. So without further ado, let's discuss the various symbols for asexuality and asexual community. The first, and perhaps most obvious, would be the asexual flag. Here it is before you. And the colors represent various things to do with the community, much like other queer pride flags. So the black it represents asexuality itself, not experiencing sexual attraction. The gray represents the gray area in between experiencing and not experiencing sexual attraction. And the white represents sexuality itself. And then finally, and perhaps most importantly, the purple represents community. The second and one of the more well-known symbol signs for asexuality is the black ring. It's a black ring of any variety that you wear on your middle finger of your right hand to symbolize to other asexual people you might encounter that you are also ace. So if you see anyone wearing a black ring on their middle finger right hand, that's a pretty good indicator that they could be asexual as well. One common illusion made in the asexual community and asexual spaces is that of I'd rather eat cake and using cake as a representation or symbol for asexuality. This comes from the like idea that instead of having sex, asexuals would prefer to eat cake, which isn't necessarily true and isn't like a token of asexuality, but it is commonly used in the community. Next is dragons. Not entirely sure where this one came from, but asexuals do seem to be obsessed with dragons. Here's... I have a dragon. Right there. I saw a meme once go around about like, would you rather have a dragon and never have sex again or have a dragon? Not have a dragon. I don't know. Something about having a pet dragon related to asexuality. And also, I know, not tooting JK Rowling or anything, but I know that Charlie Weasley was very interested in dragons, so much so that it seemed to override any other sort of relationship he could have in his life. And I think he's generally accepted as one of like the more explicit asexual characters in media, but we're not promoting JK Rowling or Harry Potter. Nah. Dragons are just awesome, and that's why I like them as an asexual person. Then there's ace cards, so like literal cards from a deck of cards. The aces can be a representation of asexuality, and this was used, I believe, perhaps it was on International Asexuality Day or something to do with asexual awareness. There was a prompt to take a picture of yourself with an ace card, indicative of your asexual identity, which wasn't comprehensive because there's only four cards and millions of asexual identities, I'm sure. Generally, the spade is associated with being aromantic and asexual, arrow ace. The diamond is associated with being demisexual. The ace of clubs is associated with being gray ace or in the gray area on the asexual spectrum. And the heart ace is associated with alloromantic asexuals, so people who still have a romantic orientation and experience romantic attraction. And then, of course, the colors purple and black are also indicative of asexual community as per the flag. So as you can see, I'm sporting some purple and black. Purple, purple like, like this guy, or a little dude. Asexuals are obsessed with purple. And those are all the symbols I can think of. If you have others that I've missed, which is very possible, drop them in the comments. And we'll see you next time in the space on the internet. My little creature boy says bye.